This is our monthly update to the Board of Directors, NBRs, and general membership on our project. I have with me uh, two of our committee members. Uh, two of them are absent this month, but uh, Larry and Eric and I are going to give you the update for April. Two areas we want to talk about, the administration building, and secondly, the golf clubhouse. This past week, we issued the contract for renovation of the administration building, which Eric talked to you about in our last update. But he's going to, at this time, tell you a little bit about what's going to happen in the way of moving people and how we're going to accomplish the upgrade of the administration building. I just want to give you some updates on our administrative building. We're going to take our staff here and we're going to split us up. We're going to take our accounting office and move it into our uh, mobile pro shop and then some of our administrative staff. So you'll have Travis, myself, Denise, and Aga. We'll move down to the racket center and we'll be stationed down there. And the ladies will be stationed up here for the next uh, uh, four to six weeks and until this project is complete. So uh, we'll make some adjustments. So if you need us during those times, we'll make sure we communicate to the, to the uh, community so you know where we are, but uh, it's gonna be great product once it's all completed. Well, as you can see behind me, that we have made great progress on the golf clubhouse. We almost have completed the roof as far as the plywood covering. And uh, we have got to put the steel in on the pavilion area. And uh, as you can see, the cupola is up on the pavilion area as well. Been a lot of questions on what is the roof or what's going to be the substrate and so forth. So I've asked Brian Richards, our uh, architect, to uh, give you an overview of what the roof is going to consist of. Hi again, this is Ryan Richards. I'd like to take a minute to talk about what you see going on around us here. This is the roofing system. In a nutshell, we have the plywood going on the top of roof trusses, nearly completed. Uh, the peel and stick um, Boral tile seal product is nearly halfway done. Um, the Boral tile seal is the manufacturer's recommended underlayment for this Boral um, ash tile that we see here. Uh, once in place, the whole system will be guaranteed for 170 mile an hour winds here in our building zone. Hi, uh, we're over here at the pavilion now and the steel should be coming in the next few days and you'll see a framing go up on top of that. The roof system here, what we have is a 16 inch wide Englert metal panel. Um, it's actually going to be in this bronze color which matches the uh, metal, uh, the concrete tile on the same peel and stick underlayment as we have a uh, a limited amount of this roof. It'll be accented and it'll also match in the fascia trims and downspots. At this time I've asked Larry if he would uh, update you on some of the exterior features that you're going to see. Hi everyone, I'm standing outside the pro shop on uh, the exterior of the building in the area where the two exterior restrooms will be located. I wanted to give you an update or show you uh, what the colors of the building on the outside, little exterior features we've got going. Well, the exterior of the building is going to be stucco going to be painted uh, the two colors off to my right here the uh, darker color of the two the light the dark color the bubble house blue to the far right my right your left is the trim feature it's going to be on some louvers and some shutters on the front of the building the decorative stone is behind me will be on the lower level around the perimeter of the building and outside in the dining area the pavilion area the outdoor outdoor dining area, part of the golf club so these are the colors and the products that will be seen on the exterior of the golf club and it's finished. We have now moved to the back side of the golf club house and I'm standing at the base of the new pavilion which is the outdoor dining facility. Started putting up the two steel this past weekend. The cupola is in place as you might be able to see. This will have a standing seam metal roof on it with a wood underside, a uh, sung and groove type of a wood underside in a darker color. We have uh, windows that will be starting to be put in once the, uh, the work above gets completed so things are not falling down. We'll get the window set in place to start drying the building up so we can move forward with interior construction that will be taking place. Now we're on the back side of the golf club house on the terrace area. This will be all brick pavings. There will be lounge furniture around the perimeter of the planters that are behind me and then on down the way. There will be a fire pit right here in the, in the center of of this will be one all the way down the individual fire pits in each individual area. As we look into the building into the dining room, we see the opening that will be the 
mural wall, which is an opening uh, glass wall that has the capacity to open up all the way so that the uh, indoor dining can almost function as an outdoor dining when the weather is here to permit that. Above the opening for where the windows are going to be going will be the bungalow house blue louvers that I, the color I mentioned earlier, and they stretch the length of the building. As a, it's an architectural feature that has a little bit of sunscreening to it, but more just an architectural feature to add something to the back side of the flat wall. Well, as you've seen, we've made a lot of progress on the exterior. Eric is now going to walk you through a lot of the work that's going on in here. All right, let's go inside. All right, we're in the main Vista room. As you can see, some of the waterproofing and insulation is starting, and it's continuing out throughout the whole property. Above us, you can see the air ducts are starting, and we're continuing throughout the property. These are the main drags throughout the main part of the building. All right, we're in one of the storage rooms. You can see the framing has started. This is exciting. We'll actually start to see what this uh, building is going to start looking like inside. Above us, you can see a DAV put in, installed. It's called a variable air volume. They're uh, put throughout the uh, building. This basically takes your air and, and pushes it throughout the building to give us uh, the wonderful cool air that we'll feel every single day. We are located inside the main kitchen. You can see a lot of the framing has continued. The waterproofing and insulation has started. All the conduits are in. All the main drags for the HVAC are started. And you can start to see it's starting to take shape. This is the main wall between the front line and the back line of the kitchen. If you pan over here, this is one of our storage closet areas uh, that you'll have behind here. And I'll take you out to the service station, which is outside here. I just wanted to mention I have Rob Leach. He's our kitchen designer. He spent more than two years on this project to get us where we are today. He's helped uh, spec out a lot of the uh, kitchen equipment for the main kitchen and the pavilion kitchen and the layout for the space and it's vital to the project. We're located in the men's restroom. You can see the waterproofing has continued. We have some of our electrical outlets. Our HVAC has started. All the plumbing is ready to go for the interior portion. We're located in the mechanical room and maintenance room. You can see we have two of the uh, switch gears. This is where all the breakers and housing will be for all of our electrical. We'll all come into this room, which is right offside the uh, lobby area. We are located in the pro shop area. You can see the waterproofing uh, has continued. The space is starting to come into shape and uh, looking forward to some framing so you can kind of see a little bit more of what the pro shop is going to look like. We are located in the pavilion kitchen. Um, we're getting a lot of things taken care of here. Just want to pan over to this side over here so you can get in a visual. This will be where the uh, beer cooler will be and some of our wine storage. If you pan over to this location, we're getting close to where the kitchen space is. As far as how the setup is, we have a brazing tilt skillet located where this is right here. We have a rationale, which is a, like a convection oven on the back side of the line. We have a nice large pizza oven, which is in our nice picture window. It's an eight feet pizza oven that will span this location of right here. And then we have the front line, which is located right here, where we have a grill, flat top, and fryer, and a small little oven. And then we'll have some cold uh, wells that will be able to hold for some uh, light salads, and then any of the mise en place for any of the hotline here. So you've got a nice beautiful picture look, look, looking out into the uh, beautiful space here and the bar is right outside the door here. Well hopefully this update was informative for you for our April update. Eric will continue to give you weekly updates as the pro uh, project progresses. Our goal is still to get receive the certificate of occupancy in September. I uh, do remind everyone that once we receive that, then we can begin the move-in process, such as the kitchen utensils, food, uh, liquor, and so forth, tables, chairs. So it is a process that we have to go through. Our goal, uh, as I said, is to have the certificate of occupancy in September, and then we'll see where it takes us from there. Of course, we'll continue to update you on a regular basis. 
you have any questions or concerns or somebody tells you something that you don't quite understand, remember we as a committee are here to serve you, the membership, and just uh, contact us and we'll get you an answer. Thank you so much. Thank you.